Hey guys, uh, welcome to this new tutorial in Grasshopper. So today we're going to just uh, go on and check out what it's uh, the graph mapper, which is a really really good tool uh, to control the data because usually the data comes in a very raw and linear form, and especially when we are dealing with design, we want to just be able to kind of manipulate it and make sense of it in a very intuitive way. And that's something that Grasshopper can do really well with the graph mapper. So let's go ahead and do a series. Right, uh, and as we saw before, a series is just uh, basically a series of numbers, right? So we have 10 numbers here, and we can just do a few sliders for this. So I'm going to just edit this one, and maybe I'll do 200. So, first of all, we have the zero value, so we're going to connect the zero. Uh, step maybe 200 was too much, right? So I'm just going to leave this one for the number of values, right? So the number of values would be in this case integers, something like 200, and then we're going to make a, another one that would be a floating point, and this would be just quite small. doesn't really matter but just something like that and then again we're going to do points so in this case we need this guy here and we're going to just connect them in X so you see that we can create several points here a line basically and you can see that we can vary this distance between them with this slider um, Right, so but let's bring the graph mapper. So we can find the graph mapper here in specials, and we can find something called the graph mapper. Right? You might be wondering, well, I'm not going to just go through each one of these kind of uh, icons because it would be just crazy, and they're kind of every day they're coming new ones. As, as I said, Grasshopper is kind of constantly being um, updated. Right? So we're going to just deal with the graph uh, with the graph mapper today. So let's use this series pass it through the graph mapper and do something with this graph, right? So we know that, let's just put a comment here and let's see the kind of information that we're getting. So let's put this in one so we can make a little bit more sense of this, right? So we have one, two, three, four, five and so forth, right? And this graph mapper right now is not doing anything so we can just start maybe um, changing the graph type, right? So we can go right click on it and say graph type and then we could start doing something like maybe let's do a basic right so that's this is a very simple one and you'll see that we can just basically play with it but you see that this is actually not doing much right so what we want to do is use this graph mapper to connect the, um, sorry, let's connect directly the series to the X as we had before, but let's connect the graph mapper only to the Y so we can just affect the Y as it moves, right? But you see again, we have a very kind of a, a, a strong problem here that it's basically in zero we have the Y zero, but in one it's already all the way up, right? So we need to specify what is the domain of this graph. So let's go ahead and double click on it and let's say well you know um, I want to go from 0 to 1 right but um, but my input comes from 0 to 200 right so let's see that but 1 doesn't seem to just make any difference here so we could say well what about 100 So basically, the mapper needs to understand that the inputs are coming from 0 to 200, right, which is the input, and the output is going to be, you know, you can see that this is starts matching exactly the information that we have, like the, the graph that we have here, right? And that's great. 
So you can play with this and, and basically you're kind of switching the parameters. What you're doing is not drawing, right? You're just making Grasshopper understand that the information that, that it's linear here gets an equation, gets a gets a, a variation. So we can see that the information has varied, right? With certain similarities, but but definitely different, right? Um, based on this curve, right? So that's one type of graph. Let's see another kind of graph. We can go into the sine wave graph, right? And the sine wave doesn't have these handles that before, but we can definitely kind of start kind of bringing waves into the picture, right? So you can see that this will repeat this sine wave constantly, like that. So that's pretty good, right? So this is kind of what the graph mapper is allowing us to do. Let's do something with this, right? Let's try to these points. Um, we're gonna do a copy of them, right? Uh, so I hope that this is understood, right? So we're just gonna leave it up here. I'm gonna organize a little bit the network, right? And we're gonna make these points, but with a different graph now in Y. And again, I will just basically maybe add a set value to these guys. So let's copy maybe this one here and let's do a set value to these guys. So we have two of them. So this one I will go back to that kind of Bezier one. And you can see that I can play a little bit with it. Right, so I have graphs defining, describing the characteristics of these two series of points. Now what I'm going to do is just connect them with a line, right? So let's uh, see line. And you can see that I start getting something, I could say a wall, um, or some structure, right? You can still love this and just generate more geometry out of this as well. But what is interesting is that the graph is still kind of active for us. And if we want just more points, obviously there's ways, more complex ways to link and remap the graph automatically. But so we don't have to change these values, but in this case you know that you're dealing with 200 points and you're dealing with let's say 100 units of displacement for the graph to be in scale, right? And you can just basically generate all sorts of structures here and basically play with some of the equations. Yeah. So that's it for this tutorial. Um, I hope that you liked it. And the next time we'll see, well, I don't know really, we'll just figure it out for the next one. Okay. So again, like I'll show you the network. I'll be posting some of these networks online so you can just use them or check them if you have any errors. Right. So series, graph mapper, the difference between the clean series, the mapped series, creating points out of this information and connecting them with the line. So that's it.